Yo guys and welcome to yet another video on my channel today hopping straight into yet another rust base design build Now sorry I haven't been uploading very frequently recently but hopping straight into the base build Today I wanted to build a small-ish base that could be made for a solo slash duo group That also could be expanded into a trio slash group clan base if you really want to build it up that much With the whole design idea of the TC being unlootable. Now, obviously I wanted the building to be quite small to start off with, so I haven't done any honeycombing on this. You will have to add that yourself in the future. But with no honeycombing, the build cost of this base is 746 wood, 4,320 stone, and 100 metal frags, with obviously the super cheap upkeep cost of 79 metal frags and 486 stone. Now, as I just said, that's with no honeycomb in, so I would really recommend on you guys adding honeycomb in, which will up the base cost, obviously, but I really recommend you do it. If you don't wanna do it, that's fair enough, because it does look like quite a scuffed solo player base. And to be honest, I don't think a lot of people would raid this base, which is also the design I was sort of going for. Now, even though the base is super small, we have quite a lot of deployables in this base with five large boxes, two furnaces, a level two workbench, three small boxes. We also have one fire pit and obviously a sleeping bag. Now, if you change this from solo to a duo, obviously you would have to remove a large box or something to place down a sleeping bag. And then past that, I would recommend extending for further sleeping bags for a bigger group. But anyway, let's not waste any more time, get straight into the base build, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, when starting to build this base, you don't need a big floor plan. It's literally two square foundations with a triangle foundation on either side of the two square foundations. So if you don't really want to upgrade it, you can hide it in some rocks very easily. But if you want to expand, build, and make it into more of a group base, then obviously build it in a bigger area. Now when it comes to placing the tool cupboard, what you want to do is get it and push it as far back in this triangle foundation as possible so it's wedged against the walls. And then bring it off the two back walls the tiniest bit ever to make it the best lootable position for the locked off TC room. Now obviously as you can see I've started locking off the TC room with a half wall. I will fully seal it off into a locked TC room later on so it's unlootable basically by anyone else. But I want to focus on getting the rest of the base done first since that's how I'd build it if I was actually in a wipe. Now obviously with the furnace, the small box and the fire pit I'm currently placing, make sure they're not sticking through the doorway otherwise they'll be on the other side of the door frame and lootable if they get that far into your base and someone goes deep. So obviously just rearrange the large boxes, the furnace, the small box and the fire pit until none of it comes through the doorway. Now when placing this small box under the level two workbench, I'd recommend pushing it as far to the left as possible so it's lootable in the left room. It won't be lootable in this room we're currently in, but if you want to push it as far to the right as possible and make it lootable in this room instead, that's up to you. It's just far to the left as possible is a lot easier to loot when you're trying to get stuff out of there in fast situations. Now everything is placed, we're finally ready to seal off the TC room and make it unlootable to anyone else. So obviously put a code lock or a key lock on this, depending on if you're in a group or a solo player so no one else can loot it. Then put this low wall down and upgrade it to stone. This can only be stone if you upgrade it to sheet or anything higher. The TC will not be lootable. Then obviously, as you saw me, sheet the roof. You need to sheet the roof, otherwise you won't be able to loot the TC also. And then just go up to it and the TC is lootable just like this. Now, as you can see, it is a little bit fiddly to loot it sometimes. So take your time practicing how to loot it fast if you really want to. Or you can just put basically upkeep resources and gear in here that you're not going to use as much. Like if you just want to store loads of sulfur and gunpowder in here for a raid, then you can do that fine. And then obviously keep your fast and needed resources like low grade, cloth, metal frags and stuff like that you want for meds fast outside of the TC so you can get to it all really quick. My favorite part about this base design is with the stairs gone, no one can see the TC and no one can get an angle enough to loot it or basically here or anything like that. The only way you can even see the TC is if you put the stairs down and wedge yourself up into the sheet roof with the stair set, otherwise you literally can't see it. Now when it comes to the sheet roof, make sure you don't upgrade that past sheet since that's the only material you can wedge yourself up enough to be able to look down at the TC and loot it. And with the stone wall you're looking over, you can't upgrade that past stone 
otherwise you won't be able to look over it sheet raises higher high coal raises higher basically just leave it stone that's the lowest material and the only one you can use to actually see the tc with a wall there but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for new for more base builds and rust content on this channel if you like this base design comment down below why you liked it if you don't like it comment down below why you hated it or didn't like it but guys hope you enjoyed the video hope you see my future videos and peace out